Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. We back. I'm What's up, JT? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Trinity. If you would like to join the JT, all you gotta do is click subscribe. Okay, so Cardi B made this dip. It did go viral. She was inspired by this guy named Alfredo Garcia. His Instagram is right here. So he's, I guess, the one that inspired Cardi B. And with the clout of Cardi B, obviously it blew up. So she inspired me to make this dip. And it looked good. But we gotta find out if it tastes good. I have all the ingredients right here. So let's go ahead and get it started. The good thing is all you need is a blender to make it. If you ain't got a blender, you're out of luck. First things first is two bars of sour cream. No, not sour cream, uh, cream cheese, cream cheese. We're gonna add in the sour cream later. When I saw this dip, I just saw the ingredients and knew like, yo, this, this is my dip. This is my dip right here because I heard it was spicy and you know your girl loves spice. So dropping one, time to get the other one. A lot of people ask me all day, every day, how do I not get heartburn being um, pregnant and loving spicy foods and eating spicy foods and honestly, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I think because like I've been eating spicy food since like three years old. So it's like, just cause I'm pregnant, I don't know if that would have stopped it. Cause maybe I'm just used to it. I don't really know. I don't know what to tell you, but I'm happy that I don't experience a uh, heartburn while being pregnant. Cause you can only imagine how, um, uncomfortable that would be for me being that i love spicy foods okay so i have two bars of the cream cheese i'm going to be using the jalapeno peppers green pickled jalapeno peppers this is my first time ever using this one i have used the brand before but i haven't used like the pickled jalapeno peppers so let me find out Ooh, how did that happen why did it happen am i gonna have to use a can opener oh, okay oh lord me back up. All right, all right. Some told me that it could have been more difficult than that. Is this a whole pepper with the um ends on them? You know what? I'm the type to just be with it. Let's just put it all in. In the recipe, I think he put 14 ounces. This is 26. So I'm gonna eyeball it. Let's get that juice in there. And let's go ahead and scoop out some of this good stuff in here. Oh! I think that's good enough. Ooh, that stuff smells hot, hot, hot. All right, so next is two avocados. Two fresh avocados. What made me most excited about this recipe was definitely the avocados and um, cilantro. Like, I'm a sucker for those. I'm gonna jump all in for those. Okay, maybe I need a spoon. Babe, can you give me a spoon? Some avocados. Honestly, I want to add another one because these are small. So we're going to add three avocados because I just know avocados make things creamier and it actually cuts the heat. And I don't know how hot this is going to be. I don't want it to burn my mouth to where I can't enjoy it. And I can kind of count on avocado, the cream cheese, and the sour cream to kind of like take some of the heat away. So, but then again, I don't want to get to the end of this and then not have enough heat. But we are gonna add another avocado. Comment below if you've made this dip and if you find it enjoying, okay? I'm hunger. I'm hungry. I ain't hungry. Hunger. I'm so hungry that I can't even complete the word correctly. I'm borderline hangry, okay? Sour cream and, hmm, how should, let's just scoop it. Ooh, listen, the amount of dairy that's in here. Oh, Jesus. Can y'all see how full this is getting? Let me turn it. I want y'all to see how full this is getting. Look at how full this is. Like, it's at the top, but everyone that's made it, it's kind of like been at the top. So, I guess we're doing it correctly. Now it's time for the cilantro. Let's say, I love. I love me some cilantro. 
I plan on starting my own little um, garden, my herb garden. And your girl gonna have jalapeno, cilantro, basil, all the stuff that whenever I go to the grocery store, I'm just kinda like, I could grow this. And most of my herbs go bad because I wait forever to use them, so. It's gonna save money in the long run. I just added some garlic powder and after putting in all that, I don't even know if that was enough, <laughs> but I'm gonna add some black pepper. Now she did add something else and I cannot figure out what that something else is, okay? With that said, it will be in the description box for you to add. All right, we just need to add in three limes. I think I turned that the wrong way. Oh my gosh, come on out, girl. See, this is what happens when you hungry. You start doing stuff incorrectly. Oh my goodness. I'm just ready to eat. I can't wait. Uh, this better hit. That's all I gotta say. Cause I'm looking at this sauce as something that I can actually put on like my tacos, nacho salad, just everything. Okay, almost done. Next, some salt. All right, y'all, that's everything. We have put everything in here. And now it's time to just blend this baby up. Man, this thing is heavy, y'all. Look, Jesus, how much that is. It's a lot. So, top on. Okay, so I kind of knew that some of the stuff was not gonna blend down, so I'm gonna get a spatula and push it down so it can get blended up. I'm so tempted to taste it, but I want it to be a surprise. Ooh, it looks good though. Oh, it just looks like it just got a lot of good stuff in it. By the way, my dad also inspired me to make it because he made it. I'm like, Dad, what you over there doing? My dad said that he made the oh, he made this dip, and he said it was good, but it was really, really like too spicy for him. So I'm like, okay, Daddy. Look at these older folks getting and getting in tune. What's going on? <laughs> There's like a carrot on this side that's definitely like still a full carrot. I'ma need you to get with the program. And it's supposed to be a whole ninja. That is good enough. Oh my gosh, that is some thick. Look at this. Look at that thickness right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh, this stuff's so thick. Oh wow, ooh wee, this is a lot. We're gonna have to definitely put some of this in a container to save. As you can see, this is a lot. You basically will be making this for a whole party or just save it if you like it. Now it do look good, but we gotta figure out if it tastes good. Let's go. All right y'all, it's time to taste it. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Oh Lord. Let's get a little, get a little mount on there. Cheers. Ooh. Oh my goodness. This is so good. Mmm. 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 The peppers? The peppers gonna get you. The peppers gonna get you. Mm. Oh my goodness. For me, this is more of like a sauce to put on tacos and all that type of stuff. This is that vibe for me. I wouldn't say it's a dip for me personally, but if I could add anything to make it more of a dip, I would add like a pico de gallo type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? I would add in some crushed onion, some chopped um, tomatoes, just to give it more of like a, a dip feel. 
But this is good. Oh man. Mm. I'm happy. I would definitely recommend this dip. If you are inspired by me to make it, then you can tag me. We all get inspired by someone. Sometimes it's not even the source, it's just who you rocking with. It be like that sometimes, you know? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a like. Big shout out to the J team right here. If you wanna shout out like them, all you gotta do is subscribe to our notification bell, let me know below. And that's it y'all, make sure to be bold, brave, and beautiful, and I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye! Oh my goodness.